Rosemary, I'm just going to show you really quick how I create a graphic for my blog using styled stock images. So right here, this is canva.com. This is just like my home page. So um, I don't see anything right here at the top that I want to use. I'm going to start from scratch. Oh, and by the way, my kids are in the other room playing uh, a video game. So if they're loud, I apologize, but we just, we're going to get this done. So we're going to click on more designs and I'm going to go down to blogging and eBooks and I'm going to click on blog title just because I want a wide image for my blog post. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to open up the template. And then I'm going to go to my uploads. It's hopefully it doesn't take too long. Um, oh, but you know what? First I'm going to title this. I'm just going to say um, Trello blog post graphic. Shh, guys, please be quiet, okay? And I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to go to my uploads because I want to upload a styled stock image. And I have a whole bunch loaded in here already, but if you want to do your own, you can just click on upload your own images and then you can load whatever you want. I already have some in here. I think this one would work really well for the blog post. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to load it in. Then I'm going to go ahead and resize it here. Um, and so for me, I tried to um, view it like this because it's just easier for me. And so I just uploaded that. Now I'm going to upload a new image. I took a screenshot of what I want to add to the desktop. I'm going to find my screenshots and they're in my Dropbox. Yours might save to your desktop, but mine are here. And I just, oh my gosh, I have way too many, obviously. So I'm going to open up that screenshot. It's going to load in and it's going to be a big file. So it's probably going to take a couple of minutes. So we'll wait for it. The little loading is right here. And once it's ready, I'm going to go ahead and pop it onto here. And I'll show you guys how to do that. So I click on this. And then I'm going to click crop. Because I don't want the whole thing on there. I just want some of it. So I'm going to go here. Actually, I'll do the whole screen. Maybe like that. We'll see if that fits. And then I'm going to click plus sign and then I'm going to resize. So now it's cropped and I can look and see, okay, it doesn't fit like 100% in there. So see how it's like much different. I'm going to fix the crop. You can go back down and include the whole thing. and then click the plus sign, and now it fits a little bit better. So that is how I resize my screenshot to fit in there. And now it looks like I just have it opened up on my computer. So that is a perfect image. Um, I'm not gonna add anything else to it. I think it looks just fine that way. Um, if I wanted to, I could go to my uploads and add in, um, I have all of my graphics here. I'm gonna go here and I can add like my watermark over if I want to do that. So I'll go ahead and pop that in. That way it's branded and if someone wants to find it, if someone maybe pins this image, then that is going to show up there and they're going to know where this image is from. So that's just really quick and easy and then I just download it. I download it PNG file and then it saves my design to my desktop and then I can pop it right into my blog post. Super easy. Hopefully this helped you guys if you had a few questions.